Hello friends, this video on integrals part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 24. So this question also if you see, I have to find integral now. Again, I know this I can convert into particular function, huh? because this is nothing but, my denominator is nothing but root of ax minus 1 into ax minus 2. And that is nothing but x square minus x minus 2x plus 2. That is root of x square minus 3x plus 2. And these I can write in the form of t square plus t square. Now x square minus 3x if you write, write this is nothing but root of x square minus 3x. 3x is nothing but if you see is nothing but 2 into x into 3 by 2. Correct. So in this case you say plus 3 by 2 square and minus 3 by 2 square and plus 2 is already there. Correct. So what I have done is x square this was x square minus 3x plus 2. So minus 3x I know I can write in this form 2 into x into 3 by 2. That means my b part is 3 by 2. So I'll say 3 by 2 square plus and 3 by 2 square minus and plus 2 was there. So this becomes nothing but root of x minus 3 by 2 square plus 2 minus 3, 2 minus 3 by 2 square is 4 by 9. What do you get? 18 minus 4, 16 by, sorry, 18 minus, so it's 9 by 4, 9 by 4. This becomes 4 to 8, 8 minus 9 by 4 is minus 1 by 4, right? That is minus 1 by 2 square. Correct? How I got this is 2 plus 2 minus 9 by 4 is minus 1 by 4. And minus 1 by 4 is, you take minus here, it becomes 1 by 4 is 1 by 2 square. This is nothing but my t and this is nothing but my t. So I converted this guy as d t by t square minus 1 by 2 square. Here t is x minus 3 by 2. If t is x minus 3 by 2, why dt is equal to dx? So I just wrote dx as dt here, right? And this formula I know. This formula I know. That is log of t plus root of t square minus t square, that is 1 by 2 square plus constant. Just replace t with my x minus 3 by 2. So this becomes x minus 3 by 2 plus root of, if you find this guy actually, this is nothing but x square minus 3x plus 2. Because x square minus t square is nothing but this guy only. And that is my answer. This is all in So this kind of pattern we have seen here. We know that if this we have question in this pattern, I have to write 5x minus 2 in a into derivative of this 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared derivative plus b form. That is a into 0 plus 2x becomes 2, 3x squared becomes 6x plus b form. Right? So my question is 5x minus 2 is equal to, if you write this, this becomes uh, x into 6a plus 2b plus a. That is how it becomes. So you compare the x part, 6a is 5 or a is 5 by 6. Correct, so a is 5 by 6, this is 2b, 2a plus b actually. Correct. A is 5 by 6. Now I can find B also. So two options to find the B. Either I can put the x equal to 0 here. Correct. If I or I can actually solve. Let me put x equal to 0. Or let's compare these two parts. This is minus 2 and this is B. This thing whole thing is this uh, constant part. So I get 2a plus b is equal to minus 2 or 2a is nothing but 5 by 6 plus b 
is equal to minus 2 or you saw this guy b is nothing but minus 2 minus 5 by 3 right and this is nothing but minus 11 by 3 so i got the value of b and got the value of a this equation i can write in this fashion as nothing but a into derivative of this guy that is uh, 6x plus 2 plus b right by 1 plus 2x plus 3x square by 1 plus 2x plus 3x square correct so what is the advantage of this a is nothing but my 5 by 6 i know 5 by 6 out if this guy assume as t1 is t1 t1 let's suppose then i get derivative of this that is 2 plus 6x dx is equal to d t1 and this guy i have this into dx i already have right so this becomes this into dx becomes d t1 by t1 plus this guy is b b is minus 11 by 3 into 1 by this i can convert into this form k square plus t square and this i know is log t so now i can find the value of this this is nothing but log t1 and this also i can convert this into my t square plus k square form so we have done a lot of examples past few examples if you have having a difficulty in converting this then watch my past few examples, you will get how to convert this into t square plus k. This will actually be, I will just saw a little bit for you, dx by x plus by 3 whole square plus root 2 by 3 by square. This kind of form you will get. To get this kind of form, you can just apply the formula tan inverse x by This was a similar question, I won't solve this. I know this I have to convert into a into derivative of this that is 4x minus x square dash plus b form that is a into x minus 2x plus b form and this guy is equal to x plus 2 correct so in if you take the uh, LHS so this is 4 4 4 x becomes 4 right and you take the LHS this becomes x into minus 2a plus 4a plus b is equal to x minus or x plus 2. If you compare these two, you get a is equal to minus 1 by 2 and b will be, if you find the value, b will come out to be 4. Once you have a and b, I can rewrite this guy as a is minus 1 by 2 into uh, same thing derivative of this that is 4 minus 2x by root 4x minus x square correct plus b that is 4 into 1 by root 4x minus x square dx correct same thing here also this guy if you assume as t right this guy will be uh, t is let's suppose 4x minus x square dt will be 4 minus 2x dx 4 minus 2x dx will become dt directly here this becomes root t right and this is easily integrable and this i can other further break so this guy will if you see this guy will become uh, root of 2 square minus x minus 2 square just by rewriting it i can write this guy as this form and this is nothing but a square minus x square form and then you can find the integral of this guy also thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again